All right, you're welcome back. It is time for us to look at our top story for today. Now, to join us to discuss child protection, particularly with regards to the mother and child, is an advocate for children and women as well. He's the Assistant Secretary General of the Child Protection Network, an initiative of UNICEF, as well as a team lead for rescue and referrals in the same organization. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on set this afternoon is Ebenezer Omejalile. Great to have you, sir. Thank nice you very much for coming. Nice to have you on Hello Nigeria. Thank you for having me. Afternoon. All right. Could okay. you tell us, you know, just an overview of the work you do at CPN? Well, the Child Protection Network was established in the year 2011 by UNICEF and the federal government, uh, specifically with the National Rehabilitation Agency. And uh, the Child Protection Network is a conglomerate of all the agencies. I'm uh, talking about, you're talking about from the immigration, the police, the NAPTIP. You know, what is synthesis? Where my strength ends, your strength commences. So, so it's about. There's a uh, synergy with There's a the synergy, agencies. yes. Among, across the agencies, including the Lagos State uh, Ministry of Youth and Social Development, uh, under the Commission of the, of the Outfit, and cut across all the local governments. And what we do is uh, when we identify advocates for children's rights and children's uh, protection, irrespectively of their age, you know, a child is 0 to 17 in the Nigerian contest, and uh, they need to be protected. They deserve to be protected, to be clothed. They need to be clothed. They need to be uh, also immunized. They have a right to choose the school they are enrolled in. They have a choice of uh, uh, things are not going well this way, or somebody is bullying me. You need to listen to them. There's a whole lot of issues coming across the Child protection network that we need to that we've been addressing all this while. Fantastic. Mm. And what would you say is one of the most prevalent issue in Nigeria? If you look at demography, yeah. uh, we have quite a lot of uh, children in our population, and they're one of the most vulnerable in society. What would you say is one issue that keeps popping up? Uh, the, the, issue, the issue that keeps popping up is cut across, but recently we are having abuse of children. From the ages of from one to three years as prevalence now, what we have consistently for the past one month now, three, four years have been abused sexually, domestically. It's wholesome. And uh, what Child Protection Network stands for is to prevent. Okay. Prevent and respond. All right. Before we talk about how you do the work you do in terms of yeah. preventing and responding. Yeah. You talk about domestic and sexual abuse. Yes. Now, people hear about sexual abuse, and the whole world knows, at least, yeah. that that is terrible. Mm. When we look at domestic abuse, yeah. we don't even understand the meaning of domestic yeah. abuse. So some people who are watching might actually be guilty mm. of it, but do not understand. So could you please break it down? In, what do you classify as domestic in abuse? In, in, in abuse? Uh, uh, indirectly, most people, most of us are guilty about the issue of domestic violence. The domestic violence has to do with the physical violence we're talking about. Oh, of children? Yes. Is there a limit? Because we had this argument inflicting or debate. Of, in, in, inflicting. No, you, you cannot, it's not it as if you cannot, uh, uh, you can scold right. your child. Yeah. But there's a limit. When uh, the issue of inflicting injury on a child, that's an abuse. But you could do it in a systematic way by not beating the child. Because uh, research has shown that beating the child hardens the child. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> we had this debate. That, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that, it hardens the child. And uh, when you say uh, that's what I, in practical, I do, is uh, we believe in this issue of uh, negotiation and reward. You see, the negotiation and reward and the naughty corner aspect for children growing up in your domain. The negotiation and reward has to do with, you know, you know what he or she likes. Your favorite cartoon comes up at 5 p.m. You're not definitely, going to definitely. If you do this, you're not going to get this. And you stick by it, uh, nothing like a child will die when they cry. Mm. Let them cry to help. You stick <laughs> by it. So next time, if there are three of them or two of them, he will tell that, you know, if you do this, you are not going to watch this cartoon. Mm. So you know, it comes, uh, the checks and balance comes in between. And most times it works. And most times it's okay, you isolate them. Mm. I want you in that corner. Is that not psychologically affecting them? That's psychological it, 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 abuse. It, it, it's, not, it's not psychological <laughs> abuse. You know, it's like you, <laughs> instead of you using that, if you see, if I show you so many pictures of abuse, you will be wondering that, are these human beings? Tell us about mm. this abuse. I mean, because 
Some people uh, may not in, understand. In the course of doing your job, in, in the course what, of doing our job, we we experience a lot of child battering, some with broken arms, some child by their uh, parents, by their parents, by parents, by guardian. But it's not as if it's one-sided. Vis-a-vis, -vis, it's we can't even uh, separate which has the highest percentage of what we're talking about. Every day, every week, every hour, every minute, we we'll get a call as I'm coming out, have about three cases coming from different parts of Lagos State. And this is just Lagos State? This is just Lagos State. So mm. tell us some of the worst, uh, what worst incidences you have had to experience, both with mother and child. Because until people understand the realities of this, they won't understand the extent. Because it sounds absurd to some people that a parent will break their child's hand or break their... What are the worst cases you've seen in the, the course worst of the cases, world? I've seen so many worst cases. I can't even quantify which one of them is even worse. Um, but recently, I'll speak about which one, the one that we had, the prevalence we had in uh, Shomolu, local government, where a mother lacerated her son's body with razor blade because he failed to carry out some domestic uh, work in the house. Lacerated her own son's body. So how, actually... how do you solve those kind of... How, we solve how, how do you take it up? If a report like that comes up, what's the process? The process, if yeah. a report like that comes up, then they call us that, ah, we have an issue here. You know, um, recently UNICEF did something. They, uh, they, we trained, we, we, we're looking at the Community Development Committee, the Community Development Association. You know, most of these issues occur in those areas. And they always want to use this, let's keep this... In order for the child, and yeah. it will damage the child, psychologically. An abused child will abuse the society. You and I are not But safe. then, when you take away the parent, the mm. breadwinner, one the, of the, the support structure, the, 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 how the, does this child fend? You does see, the uh, government have social services yeah, to be able uh, well, to take see, care of the welfare of this child? Definitely, children? I give kudos to Lagos State, yes. as far as I'm concerned, across Nigeria. I give Lagos, kudos to Lagos State. Uh, most times, uh, when these issues occur, there's what they call a yellow card, that especially not only really a child in the school. If this child had advised that this injury is what we cannot bear, we need to loco locate the nearest relations of that family. The abused child should not go back to that home because it will truncate that child's growth. Mm. Psychologically, it will truncate the child if the child will not do well. And the issue of that abuse, depend, depending on the gravity, the attempt suicide. You heard a 13 years old took his life recently. In Shomolu, because we confirm after we investigate, because we, we are evidence based. If I talk, I give you raw, as I'm seeing it. There's okay. no hard You're talking from a first hand basis. Yes, yeah. first hand basis of what I see that, okay, this is what it is. We call the social welfare. We work, that's what we call the family social service under the Ministry of Youth and Social Development. They are cut across in the local government, the chief welfare officer. Mm -hmm. We work, this is what we saw. They are, because these same people are equally the assessor on behalf of the ministry when going to court. All right. Now, you, you talk about, we know in other countries, yeah. a neighbor, a friend can report an incident when they notice. Definitely. Is there a and yeah. what's the process like? You so, see, if I suspect, suspect that my neighbor is maltreating or abusing their yeah. child, what do I do? You know, that's, you see, uh, you know, the world is a global village now. Mm. You, you'll, be, you'll, be over, you'll be overwhelmed when you see that, ah, uh, something that occurred just now. How did they hear about it? How come? Eh? Uh, that's what we call the mandated, mandatory reporter. Every one of us, we are all mandated, mandatory reporter. If you are seeing this and you're turning your black eye, a blind eye to that issue, you're liable. Mm. You'll be prosecuted. Really? Yes, because if, especially when it now leads to death, and in the corona aspect, everybody is a suspect. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the moment you're saying, uh, have been hearing it. Why did you say that? Exactly. You could have saved a life by it's just a putting the court through. Your identity is not disclosed. There's the issue of confidentiality Good. is protected. That and that is why the, the ministers spent so much. We advocated and they equally trained the police. They work in both the federal and state, and they've been doing that in Lagos State. Although you cannot take away some bad eggs mm. among the police, yes. yes, frustration is there, but we know how to tame them. Now that these, those in their authority in the hands of affairs are seen realistic. And some of, it's not that when you see some policemen, you love to be a policeman. 
the passion very in diligent yeah. about their job. Very diligent, both male and female. All right. Now, if I'm, now be, it, before we go, uh, there's one issue we need to clarify because Nigeria is a signatory to uh, different treaties, especially yeah. based on uh, child labor and all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. What is the government's position on child labor? Because it appears that it's only on paper that you shouldn't have uh, children working. You go around houses, if you drive around Lagos yeah, now, yeah. there are construction sites, I will mm, show you children mm, mm. Uh, doing work when they should be in school. You have beggars on the street. And uh, it seems we're turning a blind eye to this. Is it now legal or is it... It's still what, legal. Hmm. It's still legal. If you go by the convention right of the child after the war, Second World War, which says that that's the first phase, which says whatever you and I do should be in the best interest of the child. The same thing, Nigerian Security, we had the Child Right Act in 2003. Why, by all states across Nigeria, are advised or encouraged to also domesticate it, which Lagos State yes. was at the forefront to have the child rights law, which is the C. Because uh, it's been ratified at the federal. At yes, the yes, yes. Yeah. That, that now it's now it's it, whatever you see. These crimes, the varies. The crimes in the in terms of law, in terms of protection. Any state, any issue. So, so, what's the problem? Is it that we don't have the will to enforce, or we have the will to enforce? Like in Lagos State that I know, you know, you, you, the, the system is overstretched. You're dealing with children who are migrating. Everybody has the right to migrate. Hmm. We're children who are migrating from the country. We also having children who are migrating from outside the country. Hmm. The whole law, the system is one, and the homes are limited. So it's not just the government homes that has this. We also have well, private homes too which duly certified by the Lagos State government, they go there for the necessary assessment, the quarterly annual assessment mm. to that. The issue of child labor should not come in. People say indirectly is assisting, assisting the family to know, no, you should be able to okay. fend for those children. That is why you're bringing them to the fore All to right. exist. All, All right. right, wonderful. Thank you so very much, sir, for coming to speak. And thank you to the, for the work that you're doing. I'm sure that posterity will remember you and your team for this yeah. as well. Thank you. Now, if people wanted to follow you on social media, how yeah. can they follow you? You check me on Facebook. That's Ebenezer Okay. Facebook as well. Facebook, I saw on Instagram, that's EB for life. All right. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very Thank much. You it's very been an absolute much. pleasure having yeah. you. Yeah. Pleasure All right. Ladies right. and Thank gentlemen, you. we will be back again for the, as we continue the show. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.